Okay. Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally. Got a request to do a little bit of a first person uh, style vlog. So, figured we'd give it a shot for today's vlog. In today's video, if you guys can tell from the title, we are going to be going over exactly how much I spent on my Ultima SER, I guess we're gonna call it a clone or conversion. Um, now, for a lot of you guys who know, this is my 05 3.5 SE. Started its life as a very boring, very basic Nissan Ultima, uh, which I knew, I knew what I was getting into, but over time, we were able to turn it into a relatively fun, uh, interesting looking car. But yeah, man, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over exactly how much I spent to get it to the point where it is today. Now, I'm not gonna be including the price that I paid for this car itself, because depending on if you guys already own your Altimas or are going to be buying an Altima, um, you know, it, you're, the price of the car that you're gonna be using for this swap obviously is gonna vary turn that heat down just a little bit so I'm basically gonna be going over the price of all the parts that I ended up getting for this car uh, so first and foremost we're gonna start with the price of the donor car uh, which is not this car I ended up finding a 2005 Altima SER a legit SER with a blown transmission now a thousand bucks is a little bit more than I would have wanted to pay uh, for a car with a blown transmission but I knew that it had a lot of parts that I was gonna want and need for the swap that I was gonna be doing with this car so I ended up scooping my donor car uh, for a thousand dollars and it had everything that I needed in order to do this swap. Now, I was able to make back a good portion of my initial investment on the donor car just by selling off parts that I didn't need. So in today's video, I'm basically gonna be going over all the parts that I ended up selling in order to essentially get everything that I needed for next to nothing. So the parts that I ended up keeping for myself obviously were both the front and rear bumpers. I did end up keeping the trunk because it would have been too difficult to get the SER spoiler off of the trunk and put it onto my 3.5 SE. I've learned that from experience so I kept the trunk. I did end up keeping the SER wheels. I got a full interior for those of you guys who remember this was a tan interior when I first got it. Uh, tan carpet, tan seats, tan dashboard, tan door cards. I ended up keeping the full interior. I'm talking every single piece out of the SER came out and was put into this car. Minus the rear seats, which I thought I had an extra set of rear seats in storage for some reason, but I didn't. So I did end up selling the rear seats and we did dye uh, the back seats black, which we're gonna go over exactly how much that costs in this video. So parts that I ended up selling off of the donor car that I didn't end up using on this car. Uh, so I got $120 for both of the front doors, $60 a piece, which really isn't that much money, but I, I was able to just take them off of the car. Um, the guy who I sold them to had two doors with really faded paint, so I actually got those doors back, so I do ha still have the two doors just with really crappy paint, and I still ha was able to keep the door cards that I needed. Uh, I did end up getting $100 for the rear uh, SER seats, had I known uh, that I didn't actually have a spare set of uh, black Altima seats in storage. For some reason, I thought I did from my buddy's 2.5 that I parted out a couple years ago now. So we did end up getting 100 bucks for the rear seats. Then the guy who ended up buying the front doors also wanted to come back and grab the rear doors. Now I told him I'd just sell him 50 bucks both rear doors since he already bought the front doors. I give him a little bit of a deal on that. So I sold the rear doors for 25 bucks a piece. Uh, the paint on them wasn't the greatest, so I don't feel like that was that terrible of a deal for him and myself. Uh, I ended up selling the SER rear mufflers uh, for $40, so $20 each. Probably could have sold them for more, but, but I figured I'd just sell them for cheap rather than hang on to them for who knows how long. 
I ended up selling the ECU off of the donor car for $50. Automatic ECU, my car is a five-speed manual, so I really didn't have any use for the ECU. Now, the radiator off of the donor car, I ended up selling to a guy. Ended up selling the radiator for 70 bucks. Ended up selling the front grill for $20 to a guy locally here. Um, and then I ended up selling the alternator off of the donor car for $40. So if my calculations are correct, I made $570 off of parts on the donor car that I wasn't going to end up using anyways. Um, now because I kept the SER wheels, I threw those on my G35, uh, took my 350Z wheels, uh, put those on the Altima. So I did have the stock 3.5 SE uh, 17 inch 5 spoke wheels with good rubber that I ended up selling for $300. So because um, you know I wasn't using them and that was kind of included in parts that I was going to be selling, we're just going to go ahead and include that in the price of stuff that I was able to sell. Um, so in total, with the, the wheels and all the parts off of the SER that I wasn't going to use, I ended up making $870 in total. Now I still do have the SER shell, I decided to keep it over winter just in case uh, anything happens to this car, I have a whole bunch of spare parts. Uh, you never know what's going to come up, so I still do have the shell and that number could go up, but as of right now, $870 is what I ended up making back. Now. I paid $100 for paint supplies in order to paint match the black bumpers which came off of the SER uh, to the color of this car which I think was like a KY2 uh, metallic pewter. So that $100 included all the paint, some sandpaper as well as some primer. Now because I did sell the rear seats out of the SER, I ended up having to spend an extra $40 on some vinyl and fabric spray, which I did a video on how to dye the seats on the channel uh, like the end of last summer. Still overall, with selling the rear seats, we still made a good 60 bucks on there. Now for those of you guys who remember, I did end up bu uh, buying a set of coilovers for this car, but after I installed them, I was just not too happy with the way that the car rode on them. It was very harsh. I work in the city, I drive here every single day, and as you can see, the roads here are not exactly the greatest. So I ended up selling the coilovers that I bought for this car uh, for a little bit of a profit and I ended up buying a set of springs and I essentially got the lowering springs for this car for free after selling the coilovers for a profit. But for me, that front wheel gap was just killing me so I am gonna include it uh, basically in this video just to show you guys exactly what I had to do to get this car to look the way that it does. So the grand total to do this swap, uh, if I have calculated correctly, is $270 for everything everything that's you know paint match bumpers uh, everything installed obviously I did all the work myself so I saved a lot of money there but two hundred and seventy dollars for a full interior front rear bumpers um, we're talking gauge pods I got the SER seats uh, kept the SER wheels um, so really 270 bucks for all of those parts is a steal and with all of those parts we we're able to go from this very boring old man looking 3.5 SE uh, to what you see now uh, an SER clone I think this car looks great as it is the way that it sits is hundred percent perfect for me and um, let's be honest I only had to pay two hundred and seventy dollars uh, to get a car that looks night and day compared to what it did when I first got it and with that being said we're gonna keep in mind that I also have still have the 3.5 SE front and rear bumpers and like I said I still do have the Ultima SER shell which still has a lot of usable parts uh, some of which I'm still trying to sell and some I might just keep like this car uh, ran over a deer not that long ago just the hind legs it was already dead and the hind legs were 
sticking out on the road so I do have an issue with the ABS uh, the light comes on it should be coming on any time now uh, just after a little bit of driving so I'm gonna be taking the ABS sensors off of the SCR so I still got a bunch of spare parts and when this car ends up dying I don't know if like the engine blows or I just end up getting rid of it because the kilometers are too high I still have a bunch of SER parts. I still have front and rear bumpers, which I know are worth money. I still have SER seats, which I know I could sell for 300 bucks. I still have the holy grail, the gauge pod right here, which I know I could sell for at least 100 bucks. And I still have a set of SER wheels, which with tires I could probably get over $500. So for those of you guys who are looking to do an SER swap on your 3.5 SE or even 2.5 for that matter if you have the space and you have the tools and the know-how I would a hundred percent recommend grabbing a complete car with either a blown motor or a blown transmission or one that's been in a wreck um, you know if it's been hit from the side as long as all the parts for the swap are still good similar to the situation that I had buying my donor car I would definitely recommend uh, buying a whole car as opposed to buying it piece by piece which is what I ended up doing on my first black Altima with that conversion I'm pretty sure I spent like close to a thousand dollars just for the front bumper uh, I ended up buying the front bumper from the dealership which was 250 another 250 for paint I think it was like a hundred or something dollars for the lower grill and then another hundred for fog lights and I think another 80 or some odd dollars for the fog light bezel so close to a thousand bucks just for the front bumper um, then afterwards I ended up buying the rear bumper seats so overall I am really happy uh, with the price that I paid for all of these parts and I actually didn't even do the calculations until last night because I knew I was going to be doing this video so I really wasn't actually sure exactly how much I spent for the parts but now that I do know 270 bucks uh, to completely transform my 3.5 SE into an SER clone uh, I think that's a great deal but I'm thinking this video is probably going to be getting a little bit long I've just been yammering on for quite some time uh, so if you guys did enjoy this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet definitely do so but with that being said I'm your boy Dean Ali aka Don Squally and as always we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one man Peace.